Hi YouTube, again, um, this is my next video and I'm gonna do it on mascaras. And these are all the mascaras I have, which is not a lot compared to the other um, people that I've seen on YouTube. But um, this is part of my overview of my whole collection, so um, let's get started. Um, Let's start off with Mary Kay, because I usually start off with Mary Kay in these videos. I don't know why. Um, this is my first um, mascara from Mary Kay. This one's really old. Probably older than me. Um, <laughs> yeah, this was... Um, my mom gave me this. I don't know. Maybe I just took it from her. I don't know. It smells really bad. Um, I don't ever wear this mascara. I don't even know if it's Mary Kay. It probably is, but I don't know. It's really, really old. I know that. Not necessarily if it's older than me, but I, <laughs> I do know it's really, really old. But um, yeah, I don't ever use this. I don't even know if I ever did use this. But yeah, this is the first one. Next, I have um, this mascara from Mary Kay in just black. Um, this is really nice. This is their old one, unfortunately. It's um, been discontinued because I have a new one. Um, but this is what it looks like. It's the applicator. Just a regular applicator. Um, I like it because the little hairs, I guess, or fibers or whatever, is small. And it really, really gets in there. I like this. The only issue with this one is you have to be careful with how much you use because it can get clumpy. And um, I'm near the end of this one, but I really like this one. Um, after this came the Ultimate Mascara, and they have another one, I think it's called the Lengthening Mascara, but this is also from Mary Kay, and I really like this one, but I ran out of it. Now, this one was really good for, like, volumizing and getting, like, every single lash. I loved it. It's, um, ha it has a bent applicator to it. Looks like this. It's, it's like the same applicator as the other one, only it's bent a little bit. I don't know if you can see the bentness to it, but it is bent. There we go. And, um, I really like this one, but I ran out of it. It's, like, dried up now. And they last me a really long time. And, like, this one, when I was using this one every day, and now that i am run out of this one, I still have this one to use, so. Next is e.l.f., and, <clears throat> sorry, I'm still a little bit sick. Um, this one is the regular and waterproof mascara duo from the essential line it was only a dollar I don't really like waterproof mascara but um, I figured I'd give it a try which is why I got this one because it has a regular one on one side and then um, a waterproof one on the other side and it looks like this. this these are the applicators they're really generic applicators and you turn it over and it's like that on the other side um, for a dollar, this would be good, only when I got it, it was um, dried out, so I never got a chance to use it. Um, I just keep it in here, I don't know why I keep it in here, I should throw it away, but I never got a chance to use it because it was dried out, and I didn't call Elf, usually when there's like an issue with um, something that I got, I usually call them and tell them the problem, and they'll just send you another one, but I didn't think it was worth it because it was only a dollar, and I'd never used the waterproof side, and I already had mascara that I was using, so I just wanted to try it. I didn't think it was worth it, so I didn't ask them for another one. But I did get the um, lengthening and volumizing mascara from the studio line. It looks like this. I love this stuff. I'm wearing it right now, and I don't know if you can tell if you look. Look at that curl. I use my, let's do the review on the <laughs> mascara first, and then I'll get to how I use it. Um, it has this huge little wand handle to it and if you look this is the bottle that has the mascara in it and that's the wand handle and then if I take it out it's short it's little but and this is very very it's a very water based mascara so it's very light and it doesn't um, dry up and like glob together on your lashes it's very light on your mat on your lashes um, it removes easily but <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry, but it doesn't, um, it stays all day, but when you go to take it off, it comes off very easily. 
<clears throat> sorry. Um, <laughs> it sounds like I'm losing my voice. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this. I think I have so much elf stuff. I need to tell them that I like their stuff a lot. Um, but anyway, this is what it looks like. It is really small. I will admit that. That's the one thing I don't like about it is that it's small. But I was upset that this was so long, but now I like it because it gives me more control with um, the wand. So the fact that this is big. Um, and I'm wearing it right now, and I use my Mary Kay eyelash curler with this, and it holds the curl so well, so much better. If you, I really just, it's three dollars, I really just had to tell you to try it out because it's such a, a nice mascara and you can't, I don't think you'll be able to appreciate how nice it is unless you try it out. At first I was like, mm, I don't really like it, it feels light, it feels like you're not wearing mascara at all and maybe that's why I didn't like it, but I really like it and if you look, see I curled my lashes and you can see that it's holding the curl, you can see it better in my mirror, but it is definitely, let me see if I can get any closer. It's definitely holding those. You see that? It's definitely holding those curls. I don't know if you can tell. But it does a really nice job. So definitely go out and give this a try. Um, yeah, these are all my mascaras. If I had to choose my favorite ones, I this one would definitely be my most favorite, my top favorite. And I use this for like days when I'm not really doing much with my eyes. It gives me lots of volume and it separates the lashes really well. So I'd say this one was my favorite. And then my second favorite would have to be the Mary Kay ones. I, I'm using both of these because the black one is essentially the silver one. Only the silver one was discontinued and they put it in a different packaging because Mary Kay does that. They change their packaging a lot. But yeah, so the, Ma the Mary Kay one would have to be my second favorite. Um, so you dropped one. So um, that's my overview on mascaras. I'm not sure what my next overview is going to be on. I don't know why I chose to do mascaras instead of continuing with the face stuff. That I just put things out of order. But um, yeah. So thanks for watching, and don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Bye.